Hi, this is Saev Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation on the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Hi, this is Sai Morton. Welcome to the uh, daily Eurofix research. Uh, really, nothing happened on the lower time frames. Market still above the uh, bearish ridge um, on the four-hour chart and on the daily chart. Uh, so I still think that uh, till the end of the week uh, we can see, we still can see some uh, bearish signs because on the Friday, on Friday we will see uh, non-farm payrolls release. Also, uh, there are rumors appeared that uh, Fed can return to the supportive programs on the bond market. This uh, possibly can uh, support the dollar. Although we can see the breakout of this resistance area that I've talked about during the previous uh, two weeks, uh, this, the current week uh, hasn't uh, closed yet, so uh, uh, till the end of the week we can see some reversals or some other signs of weakness around this area. For now, market just appears to beat this uh, area of resistance, and uh, it's too early to take some uh, bullish uh, positions on the market, uh, to my mind. But if this level still will be passed by the market, the next area of resistance where I will, will be watching for some sell signals is this one. This is also, as you see, confidence resistance, weekly confidence resistance that includes, by the way, 382, retrace, uh, 382 retracement from the whole move down since 2008. Also, it includes 50% retracement from the recent move down. So. This is 618 retracement from this reaction point. Also, this is 382 uh, retracement from the whole move down. And this is the 50% retracement from the recent move down. So, this is, will be next support if market will pass uh, this area uh, strongly and uh, will not show us some sell signals in this area. This area, 134, 46, 135, 44 will be the next one where I will be looking for some signs of weakness. Now let's uh, turn to the daily chart. Here is the daily chart. There is also some interesting levels that I would like to discuss with you. First of all, look at this. This is the uh, Gartner butterfly uh, cell pattern. This is the reversal pattern and the gardener's butterfly usually uh, finishes at 127 or 1618 expansion. 1618 expansion is roughly 132 area just below, just a bit below this area. As you see, market has reached this area. Also, as we discussed in the previous researches, this is XOP target. Also, this is weekly resistance. Uh, confidence resistance area. So, although we see some strength on the market right now, market just move above this area, anything still can happen. Look at this 1 to 7 expansion market has reached it, then show some uh, piercing of this area and then retrace lower. So, this is uh, this, uh, there we can see some uh, looks alike price section, like here. Well, Anyway, uh, this area is just an area where we uh, should uh, look for some sell signals. I do not, I do not want to tell that the, uh, at right this market uh, definitely will turn to the downside. It's just a level where the probability of this event is much greater than in the any other level of resistance. If it will happen during uh, until the end of the week, there are two uh, interesting supports right here. First of all, this is 130 area that includes FIB support 129.80 weekly pivot point and previous highs during the up move uh, of the market. And uh, the next strong support area will be around 127.80. 
it includes monthly pivot, monthly pivot point and confluence support. This is, uh, I think, uh, the first strong support area that my market should reach if it will start move down. Be careful till the end of the week because uh, many uh, interesting rumors appears on the market, as I said, about the Fed. And uh, be careful during the non-farm uh, payrolls release. Uh, many events can happen despite the as it looks strong move strong bullish move on the market when the market I just want to uh, remind you that uh, the possible sell signal will appear when the market will return to the this this uh, bearish wedge and move below about one 30 50 area or something like here uh, if market will show us some kind of thrust it will be strong bar down this will be my, uh, much better than the gradual move down so that's all for today be careful and wish you best of trading